Hello everyone, my name is Professor TK the Chemist and today I'm going to give you all a video on using KSP and calculating the concentration of ions when this deals with calcium supplements and solubility. Let's get into it. As a nurse, you're working with a patient who needs calcium supplements. The doctor prescribes calcium hydroxide to help maintain the patient's bone health. Calcium hydroxide dissolves in water, but it reaches a point where no more can dissolve. The solubility product constant, KSP, of calcium hydroxide is 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 at 25 degrees Celsius. The problem. Calculate the concentration of calcium ions in the patient's bloodstream if the solution is saturated with a calcium hydroxide at 25 degrees Celsius. So in this problem, you are given the dissociation of calcium hydroxide in water. So with this chemical reaction here, you want to make sure that you're going to be using the aqueous parts of this formula. But more importantly, you're going to be using the coefficients also as your superscripts in your problem. So you're given the dissociation, the KSP, which you're going to basically take the calcium ion times the hydroxide ions raised to the coefficients power. That KSP is equal to 5.5 times 10 to negative 6 power. Now, what are you going to do with that number? Number one, we're going to set up the equilibrium concentrations. And how do we do that? Take a look. We're going to let calcium ions equals X for the calcium ions. We're going to let the hydroxide ion equal 2X. That's the concentration of hydroxide ions. In step two, you're going to substitute into the KSP expression those particular variables. You've got X times 2x, and all that's in parentheses, raised to the second power, okay? That's going to equal to 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 power. Now, x times 2x raised to the second power, that's equal to 2 squared, which is 4, and x squared, which is x squared. So that's times 4x squared equals 5.5 times 10 to the minus 6 power. Now, you're going to have to now take the 4x squared and multiply that times x to give you 4x cubed, which is equal to 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 power. So our KSP, as we continue this, is equal to 4x cubed, which equal to the dissociation constant of 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 power. Now, to get the X by itself, because we're solving for X, which is for the calcium hydroxide ion, we're going to simply do what? We're going to divide both sides by 4, and we end up with X cubed equals to 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 4. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to take the cube root of this, re this number here. So 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 4, the cube root of that, okay, equals. So let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator. And what you could do, you could actually do what's in the, um, in the root. You can say 5.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 4, and you get 1.375, and again, this is the cube root of 1.375 times 10 to the negative 6 power. Now, when you take the cube root of that number, we end up with 0 0.0111, and the ones continue molarity for the calcium ion. And that is our answer.